What's up, guys? Salut! This is recording, yes. So, a very quick and very spontaneous video from me today. Uh, so, <laughs> do you remember the video I posted where I tried to replicate the world's greatest pasta carbonara, okay? This video was based on a dish that I had tasted in Rome uh, before that, uh, in a restaurant run by chef Luciano Monosilio, like a true Roman legend. I may or may not have shared this video with none other than chef Luciano himself. To get his reaction, basically, this is something I do. I've done this in the sauce series with like the Michelin star chef, I've done this in the fried rice series. This is something I do to to get better, basically, because how am I supposed to get better otherwise? I need my work to be evaluated, like, and not only by me, basically. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is amazing. Well, I'm a little biased. Well, well, next thing you know, Chef Luciano just left a message on my voicemail about the video. <laughs> I thought it would be cool to give it a listen together. This is scary, but this is also exciting, obviously. Alex, uh... Don't worry, I think since your recipe, your carbonara, I, hope you can... I think this is one of the best I've ever seen in my life. So, wow. I'm very, 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 very close to the original one. I think so, so the, when you explain the, about the, not the zabayone, but you say um, the other sauce, Bernays. Yeah, I think it's yeah. more similar to the Bernays because the process is the same. Mm. We just uh, remove the butter and then I use the the pork fat. That mm. is true. It's more like the salsa Bernays. So I have to say thank you to you for Me? all your job and what you did for for us. So for us it's very important because mm. a lot a lot of people is coming here because they're watching your video with uh, our carbonara. So I'm so grateful. I hope one day when I will be in Paris to have a, a dinner together with our family. Thank you Alex. Thank you so much. Wow, class. Very class. Very class. Wow. Let me just process what happened. Let's go step by step, okay? First, I, I, I'm super, you know, happy that the dish I made was one of the closest ever made to his original recipe. That's a good point. That's, that's, that's a great point, okay? Next, I'm, I'm, I'm also, you know, pretty glad that I got the method right. I compared his method to the way you would wrap up a hollandaise. He said Bearnais sauce, but that's the same spirit. That's you know, whisking a sauce in a bain-marie, in a double boiler, while adding fat to it. It's almost like a mayonnaise, but on the heat, basically. And that creates a very unique, uh, uh, foamy, light, but rich texture. So I'm happy that I got the dish and the method right. Now, the third thing, I didn't expect, okay? Well, he basically said that I'm bringing customers in and that he's uh, thankful for it. Well, this is very touching. When I see that you guys are literally going in his restaurant because you saw my video and that you're bringing business to like a restaurant owner, I'm over the moon, basically. I'm happy. I think, we, I think we are doing something good over here. I think we are. Anyways, I won't keep you for too long. It was a pleasure to share this with you. We catch up in the next one. Bye. Salut.